It has been said that there is nothing to fear but fear itself. Frank Herbert once wrote, I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. However, none of these quotes take into account the true meaning of fear. The true meaning of fear is first encounter assault recon. A PC video game released on October 18th, 2005 by Monolith Productions. days of video games, I would say circa NES, Super Nintendo, in Japan, most game boxes had the genre of the game written on the box. Even the PlayStation 1, a lot of the time, had a giant banner at the top of the game that told you the genre. Simulation game. Action game. Some of the ones on the Super Famicom boxes are kind of fun. Take a famous game like A Link to the Past. It says real-time action adventure. Take the genre written on the back of the box of Super Mario Bros. 3. It is the ultimate technical fantasy game. See, a lot of these Japanese games like to take a few adjectives, string them together, and call that the genre. Shinji Mikami described Devil May Cry as a stylish, hard action game. Hideo Kojima was bold enough to put the genre in the title of his game, Metal Gear Solid Tactical Espionage Action. So what do I declare fear? I declare fear as a first-person psychological horror game. Now fear is not, one thing it is not, a survival horror game. Unlike a survival horror game, where the horror comes from surviving, from having limited resources, from not being powerful, in fear, you play as the monster. You are more powerful than anyone could possibly imagine. You bring death to everyone. They kind of just explain your main character as like the best guy ever. I think they say he's got like good reflex or something. What about you, buddy? Ready to go to work? You're putting him in the field? Are you crazy? He just transferred in a week ago. You've seen his training results. His reflexes are totally off the charts. I think he can handle himself. Whatever, man. It's your call. Goddamn right it is. But what that really means is you can slow down time, which is often referred to as bullet time. <laughs> Now I'd say maybe once a year, once every six months on Twitter, or I guess Blue Sky maybe, maybe that's the new meta. I don't know, I'm on, I'm on both of them, baby. You will see someone upload a clip of fear, and it's always the slow motion bullet time, and everyone comments, what game is this? This is the coolest thing ever. And the bullet time in fear is in fact the coolest thing ever. But fear is more than just the bullet time game. Fear is all about atmosphere and action. The game likes to combine these atmospheric moments where it takes these cool set pieces of where I bring in the psychological horror part of fear into account. Where you have these dream sequences of, of images and things flashing on screen. It's pretty cool. And the sound design, it's all good. It combines into a psychological horror segment. And then you have an action segment. And then you have a horror segment. And then an action segment. And that's kind of how the game is paced. And it's really those moments of psychological horror that make fear really stand out. Push. 
So pretty much the enemies in this game will just wreck you in like two seconds. So every fight, you just use bullet time and you win. You're pretty much invincible in bullet time. You can still die, you can still take damage, but it's about the only way you're gonna get through the game. And the game kinda knows that. Now the gunplay in Fear really isn't that great, and the bullet time, it's really cool, but you do it like 150 times throughout the game. It, you, you know, it kind of gets a little stale over time. However, there's some things that still make it really cool. The thing about Fear is the technology it was pushing as a PC game in 2005. See, Fear is the definition of a They don't make them like this no more kind of game. Fear was pushing the same thing that Doom 3 was pushing. Real-time lighting, real-time physics. That was the hotness on PC. During the gunfights and after the gunfights, you can cause lots of destruction. And destruction is really cool. You leave a bloody mess in your wake after mowing down lots of dudes in bullet time. I just think it's really cool to look at a scene, see it beautiful, see it set up. After the firefight, everything's destroyed. And you really don't see that in video games very often today. Like, if you look at the newest Call of Duty campaign, right? Which I think is a cool first-person shooter, but they're both doing very different things. A very modern first-person shooter is very static. There are some things you can interact with, but for the most part, the scene is static. And there's reasons for that to push high fidelity and high performance. You do that. But PC wasn't too worried about that back in the day. And so we get real-time, cool lighting, and I think the lighting in Fear is so awesome. You can take any moment in Fear and just sit there and stare in the corner, and it's probably gonna look real cool. That could be somebody's desktop background. But not to mention this game is a sound engineer's playground. The sound design in this game is lovely. While there's not very much music in the game, the ambient noises, the sound of your footsteps, and then the sheer loudness of battle all combines together to make a very coherent, cool vibe. Now while I am super high on fear, love this game, it is not a perfect video game. And I can crap on some things I don't like about it. One, I think some of the enemies suck. There's like a Robocop enemy that looks like uh, Ed 209, and that thing sucks. I don't know why you have to fight that thing. I feel like half this game takes place in an office building and you spend way too much time in that office building and not in a much cooler location. Also, like the final level has these monsters like coming at you and you gotta shoot them and they kill you in like one hit and it's kind of trial and airy. Like the game is definitely out of the era of PC quick save kind of games where they want you to quick save often because you die in like five seconds. And the checkpoints are pretty few and far between. But horror can't be really good horror unless it breaks a little bit of taking itself too seriously. All of the great horror out there has a little bit of humor in it as well. And the humor of fear comes out of two things. One I think is good, one I think is bad. I don't like this fat guy. There's like this fat guy who is, I think he's comic relief. And I think he sucks. That's why he died. Oh, perfect. You again. 
See this button? I wonder what this does. But what is really fun is ragdoll physics, baby. Gmod ragdoll physics are still my favorite, and this game delivers them in slow motion. And so it's pretty funny to just see dudes blow up, and you just go, oh yeah. And uh, finally, um, one cool thing I found in the game, which I've never found before, is there was a room that you can find. It's like in, a, it's like in the last area, the second to last area maybe. And you can find uh, a radio playing some uh, like Japanese song from one of Monolith's. Like Monolith made like a mech game, I think on the PlayStation One. I think that's the theme song for it. I think I should have looked that up, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And it doesn't fit in the game at all, but it's cool as heck. So, in conclusion, Fear, the first-person psychological horror game that kind of revolutionized and created first-person horror as we kind of know it, because this game came out five years before Amnesia, eleven years before Outlast, and even more years behind the demo PT, which then would go into inspiring Resident Evil 7. Now, pretty much every horror game is now first person. So if you want to play Fear on PC now, um, you, uh, you can get on GOG, you can get on Steam, it's like cost nothing. I think I bought it for two bucks on GOG on a sale. Um, you do need to install a patch. Um, you can find videos of it on the internet. Um, of guides, you have to install like a patch to fix something, or um, the game will become even more scary and have the greatest horror in all video games. Bad frame pacing. <laughs> um, so you gotta put a patch so it runs on modern Windows, but it takes like two seconds. You just like drag a DLL file or like a notepad file into the game's data folder and you're pretty good. If you've played a PC game before, that's the way to do it. I think Fears on Xbox backwards compatibility, that's a good way to play it. If you're on PlayStation, you're SOL. Womp womp. I guess before we end, you know, if you've made it to the end, this is your bonus. Your bonus for making it to the end of the video. You get Super Papa John lore. This is for like the 10 people who have been here since day one. Um, I, uh, I was talking to uh, Rocket, the guy I do double boost with. We have a cool Sonic Adventure Let's Play we're doing right now, where one of us is playing the Dreamcast version, one of us is playing the GameCube version at the same time. I think it's neat. You should check it out. But he, uh, while we were recording it, I had this cup with me. This cup's made into the background. Um, and he, he, not too many people have probably watched enough of me to know this, but my most popular video, if you take videos, it's a stupid Zathura video I made forever ago. And that cup is in the video, and he said, how long have you had that cup? And I was like, I wouldn't like to admit how long I've had that cup, but it's it's going on eight years, and so I thought she should make an appearance today in a video, um, the cup that has made it. it. She's been dented. She doesn't sit properly anymore, but, you know, I just think she's neat. Thank you. Thank you.